That's why I do it. He said, like, I said, I'm expecting my 10% royalty or something. Damn. Wait till I get famous out here. Then I'm act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> so he's going to call me. I'm going to see how I pivot. I really go into it. I don't just, just wait for him to come in. Because if he comes at me super hard and I'm just doing this, that happens. And then you get knocked off and like you try to run away, you lose your head. So you got to give it as good as you get it. When he comes at me, I step in. Now when he gives me that second belt in, I pivot off. Now instead of throwing our kick here, I'm going to throw a cross. I'm going to throw a cross. I'm going to throw an uppercut. And then I'm going to throw a kick. All right? One more time. He's going to come at me. He's going to be here. He's going to boom. I'm going to land on his back foot because that's what's going to propel me for that cross. So right away, I'm going to take this left foot. I'm going to step it. Uppercut. Then I'm going to throw this kick. Do try not to throw the uppercut right after the cross, because I see a lot of people, they, say, they go cross, and they host an uppercut, and they do this, and they're all off balance, because they don't have their base there. When you throw your punches, especially on a moving target, you're going to have to step into it. You can't just throw it like it's a punching bag that stays still. So one more time, one more time, I'm going to boom, boom, and cross. Notice that step before I throw that uppercut. I step. Uppercut, kick. All right, on three. One, two, three. 